In this section, we're going to be talking about layers. Now, my layer window is right here, so I'll open that. We're going to be working in perspective. So I will maximize and create a few objects. Three should do it. A box, a sphere, and a cylinder. Now all objects must be in at least one layer. Therefore, these are automatically in the default layer. The way that we can tell is to go to our properties window, object. If I select all of them, layer as you can see, default is the only choice. To create a new layer, we would go here. Create new layer. Let's call one layer sphere, one layer cylinder, and one box. You can select colors. I'll make our sphere brown, cylinder dark green, box blue. You can also lock the layers or unlock them. As you can see, none of these objects have changed according to these settings here because we've got to select the layers now per object. Sphere, layer. Now I have other choices. I'm going to click sphere, for my box, box, and the cylinder, cylinder. Now, as you can see, these objects are colored according to the layers. If I do a shaded preview, they're even shaded according to their colors. If I do a render, they're the same gray. For render properties, I can click this little circle here at the end and then our render settings comes up. Color, I'll choose brown for the sphere. Press OK. Dark green, again for my cylinder. And for the box, I'll pick blue so everything matches up. Here's the preview color, here's the rendered color. So let's take a look at the render now. Okay. Now the box layer can be locked right here. What that means is it's almost like it's not there. You can still see it in your wireframe preview. You can render it, but you can't move or select it. You can select multiple layers by holding shift. You can also click the light bulb to make a layer disappear temporarily. This is useful when you have a large file. You've got a lot of things going on and the computer will slow down if you have everything visible all at once oftentimes. So you can highlight certain aspects and turn them invisible. Layers can also be selected. There's a layer menu here. All layers on, off, change object to current layer, match object layer, edit layers, select objects by layer. We can also do it by color. I select an object, press enter, and it'll pick any other object of that same color. If I select objects by layer, then my menu comes up. and I can go through and click one or more of my layers and press OK.